and okay. then the other is three so yeah. he is not in your school um and just uh, this is my actually hi everybody it's Olivia Blair your real estate angel with Keller Williams real estate I'm here today on another park bench with Sega Beach interview with Christina Garriock from Kangoo uh, with Sega Beach and she is already has been so much fun you didn't see the pre pre talk we were doing. Um, but Christina is amazing. I, she has a ton of energy and you'll figure out why very shortly. But I'm so pleased to have you on here today, Christina. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I look forward You're to welcome. sharing everything with everyone. Yeah. So tell me about, can, am I saying it right? Kangoo? Kangoo, yes. Kangoo. So Kangoo. they are low impact rebounding shoes. It's like having small trampolines on your feet. Okay. Uh, it's 80% less impact than running shoes. So already it's great for your joints. Um, and 25% more calorie burn. Uh, you can use them indoors and out. I use them for running around the block and my kids actually have a pair as well. So it's good for all ages and all fitness levels. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. So how do you learn how to use the kangoos? So I generally recommend people take a seat and they, they kind of snap on like rollerblades actually, and then okay. just carefully stand up. Most of the time people are just two in their heads. It's like anything that you try, you just got to go for it. And the more you move, the easier it is. As if you just try standing still and just kind of freezing, you, it kind of rocks you back and forth, but you won't fall. It's just better to just keep moving. That's amazing. So how did you learn about this? Like, how did this come into your life? So I was at the Santa Claus parade actually in Angus. Uh, and they, there was a local gym that was offering classes at the time and they were bouncing around on the streets. And I looked at my husband and I said, I need that. That is for me. I figure skated and synchronized skated majority of my life. So it's, it's very similar in the sense that um, like you have these two things on your feet, you're flying around, you're doing these moves. Uh, and I fell in love with it the minute I tried it and I've never looked back. Wow. That's amazing. Um, and you said your kids also have, um, kangos as well. Yes. My, uh, seven-year-old son has a pair and he loves them. Uh, quite a few of his friends do as well. And then my three-year-old, can put them on but he's not old enough yet and it's not exactly safe for him at this point but I am certain that he will be getting a pair on his sixth birthday as well it's generally for six and up that's amazing well wow, that's so good to know I didn't realize that they had them for kids too yeah they have kids camps mainly in Toronto area at the, at the moment um, before COVID of course um, but they they offer kids camps they have kids classes uh, I, in particular I have had kids join my classes, but I, I'm geared more towards adults. Wonderful. So talking about classes, um, you obviously don't do them in person. Can Do you do them in person outside? Uh, when it's permitted with the government restrictions, we do them outside and indoors. We rent studio space. Currently, we're only online, of course, with the restrictions. And we have three classes a week. Um, they're evenings and weekends, and you can replay them at any time to fit your schedule. Amazing. So, you know, one of the things I'd love to do is connect our viewers through all of your channels and your links to make sure that they can access your classes and register for them. Is there Absolutely. like a beginner? Like, is <laughs> Yes. So yeah. it, in the group, it's a private Facebook group that we have. So when people join, I add them to it. And there's a library of hundreds of videos, including ones um, with beginner steps and how to's. I also, when people register, if someone needs a little bit of extra assistance, I'm happy to do like a FaceTime call, uh, of course, in person when we're permitted to and give them an extra hand. But it, it honestly, within a couple of classes, people are just flying. They're having a great time bouncing around. I have clients all over Ontario, um, some in Alberta, and uh, they, they love it. So they obviously, I'm not in person to, to help them as much. So we do it all virtually. This is amazing. So is this, um, is this like a, a side gig for you? It is actually. So I work full time in municipal government. 
so Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. And then in the evenings, I found myself going to the gym anyways with my little kids by my side. And I thought, I, I can do this. I can, I can go on my own. I've got this. So I, I started out um, and I got my registration um, certification, sorry, in September, uh, two years ago. And then I had to have a surgery in October. So it kind of put uh, my business plans to a halt. Okay. And then I got everything set up and ready to go. We rented space. I bought some boots and uh, I posted and I had registrations an overwhelming amount uh, for it being so new to Wasega. No one had heard of it. And then COVID hit. So I had to cancel all my rental spaces and make accommodations and I was using this old laptop and they couldn't see me properly. So I had to update the technology. So my first class was actually virtual. My first class I ever taught. Uh, and it's pretty amazing the relationships we formed and the bonds we've created virtually. We've obviously all met now in person um, between the lockdowns and uh, we've, we've really formed some friendships. It's, I'm, I'm very lucky. Wow, that is such an incredible story. And one of resilience and persistence um, all the way to success. I'm so happy to hear that. And one of, and a true testament really to our community here in Wasega Beach, is it not? Like, Absolutely. I love oh, how we just all band together and, you know, we yes. make it happen, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's an incredible community. Wonderful. Have you always lived here in Wasega Beach? No, actually, I'm living in Angus right now. Um, and I work in uh, the county of Simcoe as well. And then my husband works in Alliston. So we're a little bit all over the map. <laughs> we love all the communities. Well, and your clients come from everywhere. So it doesn't really matter, right? Yes, exactly. I think that's another, another um, blessing of COVID is that you can truly expand yourself beyond, you know, there's no borders or boundaries right now, right? Exactly. Yes, so it's, uh, and, it, and word spreads, uh, like people will mention to a family member that lives three, four hours away, and then we just ship them boots and add them to the group. And we do Zoom calls um, regularly, like before class, just to check in and see how everyone's doing um, and just make sure that we're all connected uh, virtually in the best way possible uh, and support each other during these challenging times. That's fantastic. Now, are the, are the Kangoos more for like a cardio option, would you say, like a running shoe? Uh, yep, yeah, it's cardio based, definitely. Um, okay. But it, you definitely build some muscle, depending on the size of the boot, they weigh around three, three, three and a half pounds each. So you're actually lifting and you never realize it when you're bouncing. And then after a few months, you're like, look at this muscle coming up. <laughs> so, and we do a lot of um, strength as well, using the boots, um, using bands, if they have a set of dumbbells, they can use those as well. Um, but really the only equipment that they need is themselves. You don't even necessarily need the boots. Ideally, yes, but uh, a lot of people have done these classes in their running shoes. That's amazing. So you really get a total body workout. You don't like equipment is minimal. Um, I'm sure you're working like what I'm imagining you saying and hearing you saying is you're working core balance and strength. So there's multiple benefits here. What are some Absolutely. of the success stories you've heard from some of your class participants? Definitely both mental and physical. Um, I'm all about success, both in and out of the gym. Um, it's not just about weight loss or getting to size, like a specific Whatever. size. It's a total um mind, body, soul, um, connection for sure. And I think specifically over this last year and a half, the biggest transformation has been mental for everybody. And I like, of course, I'm not, um, talking down about the incredible physical transformations. We've had people that lo have lost 70 pounds. Um, but mentally this has been what has pulled all of us through. And mm -hmm. if you will speak to each of my clients, they will, that's the number one thing they're going to say is, that this community has pulled them through this challenging year. And like I said, we're a family and we, we stick together. That's incredible. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, what is the investment for a pair of boots, an adult size, let's say? So for an adult size pair of boots, they're around $300 and they last uh, 10 years with proper care. And because of the size range, even when you buy kids boots, which are a little bit cheaper, 
if your feet grow as a child, you'll have them for a, a longer period of time, like sizes four to six or one to three. So my son's had the same pair of boots for three years and uh, he doesn't need another pair probably for another year. It, uh, you, do, you need to change the springs quite regularly and they go about $30. Okay, excellent. And is that something that somebody could take care of themselves or do they have to take them in somewhere to get them serviced? So I sell the springs and I happily change all of my clients' springs at class. No problems there. Um, they are easy to do and they've done it themselves, but I always offer to um, place the order, of course, and change them for them. Um, we also offer boot rentals if people are not wanting to put that investment in. Even for myself, when I first started out, like I had mentioned, I, I fell in love with it right away and I knew, but I was on mat leave when I, I first started. So money was tight and boot rentals were the best option for me. Uh, and I always have boots in stock ready to go. And when people rent, I take care of changing the springs and all the costs associated with the boots themselves. So it is a, um, a money saver for them. That's fantastic. Um, and I love that there's a rental option as well. Cause yeah, sometimes you just want to try before you fully commit to exactly. it, right? Make sure you like it, that it feels good. It's going to work for you. So that's wonderful. What's been your biggest challenge? Would you say having started this endeavor? I think the biggest challenge for me, um, normally when people ask me this, they assume that I'll say that, that COVID and having to pivot. But to be honest, it was the work-life balance, uh, having a full-time day job and two little ones, uh, and then adding this side business that I, I love so much. And there's no um, clocking out at the end of the day. Like you decide as a business owner when you're going to put that phone down. So at right. first, I, I kept wanting to stay and answer every single message right away. And I'm still very good at responding to everybody but I really try to make an effort one day on the weekend to put my phone aside and make sure that I'm completely present with my family because that is number one for all of us at the end of the day. Right. Absolutely. Wow. And yeah, you know, it's, it's, I'm not surprised that it's, it's not COVID. It sounded like you, because you knew what you were doing and you had your plan and it, the vision was clear um that really was just like a road bump you know it wasn't yes something major you were able to shift from that pretty quickly which is awesome yeah. um but i i agree with you um being a, a busy mom having two kids like you know i have two kids myself um and trying to balance it all out is very challenging it is <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. So that's incredible. Wow. Is there anything that you'd like to add um, to our viewers that we haven't mentioned already that you would like them to know about your classes, the programs, anything? Uh, just that it's for all ages and all fitness levels. Uh, the, the number one thing that I hear is that, oh, I'm not fit enough to try this class or to do this, but you are. You can start in your running shoes. It doesn't matter where you are in your journey. We all work towards it, um, the end goals together. Um, and uh, as well as that you can contact me on social media if you have any questions I'd be happy to do tutorials or chat with anybody over the phone if they have any further questions or a little bit unsure of where to get started fantastic and can most can you be found on most social media channels like I know you're on Facebook um, mm -hmm. are you also on Instagram and YouTube as well I am on Facebook and Instagram, and I also have a poster that I'll share with you as well after this, and it has my email address and my phone number. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there a website that people could go to to register, or would you prefer that they link through you, link through Facebook for, uh, with you for that? I prefer that it's uh, through me directly, just a little bit more personal. There's a few questions that I like to go through with each individual person, so I make sure that they're getting the, the best out of their, their time with me. Fantastic. Actually, that makes a lot of sense because you might want to find out if they have an injury or exactly. imbalance of any kind that you can talk about before they actually jump right into putting the boots on, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So the time at the classes can be, uh, like everything just flies by. We're there, we're getting boots on, we're jumping. Uh, so I really like to take that time outside of class to make sure that I get to know my clients on a personal level as well and help them reach their goals in and out of the gym. What days are your classes? They are on Monday and Thursday evenings from 6.30 to 7.30. 
um, and in person or online and both, even when we're in person, we're broadcasting online, no matter what, for people's comfort level and for those out of province. Mm. And then on Saturday mornings from 10 to 11. Amazing. Oh, I'm going to have to try one of your classes. <laughs> I'm We'd love to excited. have you. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Well, Christina, this has been an amazing conversation. Thank you so much for introducing us to Kangoo and uh, super exciting. I love anything that it also involves children because, you know, nowadays we're looking for all kinds of activities to do with our kids, right? Definitely. This is um, perfect. Yeah, fantastic option. Um, everyone, be sure to link uh, with Christina find out about her classes through her Facebook page. We will be linking everything through the Park Bench Wasaga Beach website once the video gets um, put up and you're watching this. Be sure to go down, take a look at the links that are there. Uh, she will share her email address with us and the phone number that she can be reached at so you can register for her classes. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you can get future notifications for our future Park Bench Wasaga Beach interviews featuring local business owners here in our community. Um, amazing people who have definitely uh, persevered through everything, right, Christina? <laughs> yes, definitely through everything. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, thank you again, Christina from Kangoo for, for joining us today. Uh, absolutely loved our conversation and I can't wait to try one of your classes. Thank you so much for having me. You're so welcome. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.